So, uh, I don't plan for this to be a permanent residence for this car, but you know, a place where I can leave it sit. Uh, while I yank a motor out, I don't think it'll take me more than a day or two once I get serious about it to get the motor out of that. Well, it won't take me more than a couple hours, I don't think, to get the motor out, and then I might need to run over to Dale's house and get him to help me figure out that hydraulic uh, cylinder thing. See, I'm right up again that wheelbarrow there. Uh, but the Jeep is more protected here than it is sitting out in the weather there. And you know that boat don't necessarily need to be inside. It's made for, boats are made for the weather. Of course you need to keep the interior nice, I guess. But, uh, can't hardly do that if you have it out in the rain and all, but you can put a, you can put a cover over it. This is good. Uh, I don't know if I'll leave it in there tonight, but every night it sits out here is a, increases the likelihood of some cat getting on it. I think it's more difficult for a cat to get in this shed than it is that one. But what I could do is put it back here for now, for tonight. Tomorrow morning, come out here early, pull this up, get the engine lift around here, yank that motor out, get to work on doing what I need to do. Once I get this drivable, I can take it around back and put it in the back shed. Uh, hmm. Things is happening here. Hey, baby. Hi. You headed out? Thank you. Okay. Okay then. Well, first thing in the morning, I get right on that. I have her done. I suppose I could go get the lawnmower and knock out that patch of weeds right there where the jeep's been sitting. Hmm. Yes, sir. I'll do that.